Zero, First, and Second Order Reactions by Noel Sheldon. Reaction order is based off of the change in concentration over time. A zero order reaction has a linear graph of concentration versus time. A first order reaction has a linear graph of natural log concentration versus time. And a second order reaction has a linear graph of one over concentration versus time. This is a graph of a zero order reaction, which is linear for concentration versus time. This is a first order reaction, which is linear for natural log of concentration versus time. And this is a second order reaction, which is linear for one over concentration versus time. Rate is equal to K times the concentration of X to the nth power. For a zero order reaction, N is zero, so rate is equal to K and it is independent of concentration. For a first order reaction, N is one, so rate is equal to K times the concentration of X. For a second order reaction, n is 2, so rate equals k times the concentration of x squared. Spectrophotometry is a method by which we can measure the change in concentration over time by putting a solution into the spectrophotometer and measuring the absorbance. And you can use the formula A equals ABC to find the concentration using the absorbance. And we have used this method in class. Now here's an example. You would use experimental data in order to find the reaction order. So first you can look at experiments one and three in which the concentration of A remains the same. You can notice that the concentration of B doubles, but the rate also stays the same. This means that the reaction is zero order with respect to B because even though the concentration of B doubles, the rate does not change, meaning it's zero order. Next, you can look at experiments one and two in which the concentration of B remains the same. And you can see that the concentration of A doubles and the rate also doubles. This means that the reaction is first order with respect to A because when the concentration of A doubles, so does the rate. And you would always use experimental data to find the rate of reaction. So here is a table to summarize. You can see that a zero order reaction has a rate law of rate equals K. The concentration time equation is initial concentration of A minus final concentration of A equals K times time. The half-life is the initial concentration of A over 2K. The graph is going to be concentration of A versus time. Next, you can look at first order in which the rate law is rate equals k times concentration of A. The concentration time equation is log of initial concentration of A over final concentration of A equals k times time over 2.303. The half-life is 0 0.693 over k and the graph is going to be log A versus time. Finally, you can look at the second order reaction in which the rate law is rate equals K times concentration of A squared. The concentration time equation is one over final concentration of A equals K times time plus one over initial concentration of A. The half-life is one over K times initial concentration and the graph is going to be one over concentration of A versus time. Thank you for watching.